listen to me. You're about to become famous at your lowest. That's right. You may have felt like you were going through the most. But right when your breakthrough is about to come, that's when things begin to act all out. When I tell you your life begins to seem like it's falling all the way apart. But I'm trying to tell you. God is saying that you will become famous at your lowest. You will be at the point where you are so humble to where the Most High will put you in that position of higher, level up, glowing up. I mean, when you're feeling just like that, because he knows that if he puts you in that position, you won't go all out being cocky like the people that you see around that be acting weird and stuff. You're going to be humble and see the way that he's doing this. He wants you to be the one who don't forget where you came from. He doesn't want you to forget that because he knows that if he does it this way, you'll never forget. You're going to always remember and always be able and willing to help other people. So when I tell you, you're about to become famous at your lowest, you got to know it. It's definitely working out for your good. When I tell you all things work together for your good, it is and is. You got to understand that God moves in different ways than what we think. See, we be thinking God going to move when everything going good. Half the time, he just be like testing your gangster. And you be wondering like, why is everything around me? Like, why is it this right here not right? And then like this good, but then here go this going wrong. You know, you be wondering why. He just testing your gangster. He testing you, big dog. I'm trying to tell you, God got you in the palm of his hands and he's not going to allow you to just fall and stay there. He ain't trying to put you in the grave like your enemies was. What he trying to do is lift you up right when you see him the way he wants you to see him. Right when you begin to move in a way that you are blessing his people. See, he wants you to be that way. He don't want you to be cocky to where you just like, it's all about me. Mm -mm, No, baby, you got to be about his kingdom business. You got to be about God. When you hear me say this, you got to understand you need to put that in your mind and be confident in it. I know it's been rough. I know time's been hard, baby. It's been something. It's been like really, really weird lately. Like you like, God, where you at? What is really going on? Why is all of this happening? Why is this thing that I keep trying to fix keep happening? He's trying to test you so he can see when you get to that lowest place where you're humble, he can pull you up and show you off right in front of your enemies. Do you hear me? See, he's making you famous because he wants you to share the gifts that he gave you. And I mean all of the gifts that God gave you. You've been hidden for a while, but God is saying that your light has come. It's time to shine, baby. You a star. You got to get up and understand that just because you're going through what you're going through right now, that don't mean a thing when it comes to God. He can change things. See, when I told y'all, our God is a God when you need something at 12 he gonna answer it right there at 11 59 you be thinking that he done forgot all about you but he done he right there working it out right there so you gotta understand that all of these things that have happened to you they're not happen for just no reason he's trying to get you to that position where you want to be where you prayed for it remember that time you prayed for God to allow you to use your gifts to bless other people for you to be an amazing child of God to help the kingdom that's what he see he he answering that prayer but he been answered it may have taken a long time I already trust me baby I know I know it's it's been taking a long time but he's saying that he's trying to make you famous right where you're humble at he don't want you to have an ounce of cockiness. He don't want you to be like the fools. See, fools, they don't listen to wisdom. They don't know nothing about it. They don't know nothing about God. They, they all about the worldly things. He wants you to be able to have the worldly things, but to also be humble and bless other people with what you have and not flaunt it in front of other people. See, I know those that we speak about on a day-to-day basis, them folks that be 
backbiting, all that kind of stuff. They the type of people, they love the worldly things. And they will show it off and won't bless you, won't bless nobody around them. And could consider themselves blessed. Talking about God blessed me, baby. Mm -mm. God didn't do that if you ain't here to bless other people. You ain't, you doing it for, you doing it for a different reason. And you're doing it for the wrong reason at that. But see, for you, he wants you to be able to bless other people. He's giving you these things and he's enhancing your gifts so that you can bless other people with them. This is why you know when things start to move up. I mean, like, you know, the views blow up. You know, the people start coming. People start asking about you. They want you to come and do their hair. They want you to be the singer in their wedding. They want you. They looking for you. I want you. I want the chosen one. This is how you know when God starts to move because he wants you to use those gifts. He'll start to do things and you'll begin to think like, wow, this is it. And that's how you're going to feel. It's almost as if you can finally breathe. What's that movie? Waiting to exhale and you can finally exhale okay and that's what it is he's just trying to increase you while you're here while you're at that position where you're at now he wants to increase you there not when you up there and you're like okay i got this because sometimes we get to thinking like we the ones that did it because we the one you know we done manifested this we done did this i pray praying about it and it's, it's that's a good thing but that manifesting when you get to saying that it was all you you know what I'm saying? He don't want you to be like that. Many people get to the point to where they feel like they did it. You know what I'm saying? They did it. But when you give God the glory, he going to continue to increase you. He says, to whom much is given, much is required. But he also says, those that have shall have more. Okay, it's something like that. I'm paraphrasing. But he says, if you have, you shall have more. He's going to increase you. You got to understand that. So he's going to start to give you all of this. He's going to start to bless you and increase you in your gifts. And you're going to be blessing other people with it. And he knows that. And that's why he had to do it. And all this about you blowing up, it's real. It's really real. You got, psh, wait a minute, let me do my dance. Because it's real, baby. You getting ready to do your thing for the most high God at that. You know what I'm saying? He ready for you to shine. So get ready to shine, baby. Hear me when I say this. You are being sought after. People are looking for you. They need you to use your gifts because it's something about you and your anointing that the divine anointing that you have, they need you to use it. You know how God says that you will preach to nations. That's how your gifts are. He wants you to come out and begin to do things for him so that the nations will know who he is. It's time for you to move, big gangster. You got to keep going. All of this goes to show you that just because you were in your solitude season, when you were all quiet and everybody didn't know what you was doing, when you was moving in silence, that part, that God was working it up. He was working it out. He was working everything out. See, when we think that God is being quiet, when we think that we can't hear him, he's working it out. He's on the other end of the phone working out something for you. And when he clicks back over, you better be ready, baby. You better get ready to pop out. You about to pop out and pop out for God. Type it in the comments. I'm popping out for God. I'm popping out for God. Do that. Because that's what he wants you to do. That's why he wants to make you famous. Because I'm telling you, all of this stuff goes to show you that it ain't about the people of the world. It ain't about doing worldly things. What he wants you to do is move in silence. But then when he gets ready to pull you out, he's going to use the wisdom that you learned and everything that you have, these gifts that you have. They're going to be, I'm telling y'all, he's going to use his anointing to boost it. He gonna boost that thing. You gonna be wondering how in the world did I do this? You know, you coming up with different hairstyles for other people when you're doing hair. You're coming up with different ideas for the team at the job. You're coming up with songs because you a singer and you writing songs. You like, where did this come from? You writing books you ain't never wrote before. Like I ain't never thought about writing a book. Like let me write a book, okay? Where did these ideas come from? Because God places His anointing upon you as you're in solitude. He's increasing you in His wisdom. He's increasing increasing you with the Holy Spirit. And that's the thing about it. Your enemies didn't know that. So what they thought was, you was just gone. You was done with. Done daughter. That's it. Finito finata. I don't know why I said done daughter, but y'all know what it is. Listen, <laughs> you, you gotta hear me though. They thought you was over with. They thought that the graves that they dug for you, you was in there. They went to go look and fell off in them themselves. <laughs> like what in the world is going on? Because now God has pulled you out. God is pulling you out of everything you were in. 
He's pulling you out of the grave like where you thought you were gone, that you couldn't get around what you had been through. It was too much. But God says, I'm increasing you, but I'm also giving you this anointing to help you to move the way that I need you to move. I want you to pop out. I want you to let people know who I am. And I want you to use your gifts. Uh, yeah, the video that you thought about making the other day or today, you need to go on and do it. Because God says you will reach nations. You will do things for him in nations, even in places where you never thought you would have went. He going to bring you out. And you're getting ready to shine, baby. It is your time and your season. You're about to be famous at your lowest. You thought you was low, but God says, I'm pulling you out. I'm pulling you out. And they don't, they not going to know what happened. The table that I'm giving you is not for your enemies. It's not for them. It's only for them to see that I am in you, that I live in you, that I'm the one who increased you, that when you do it the way you did it, it'll all work out. And they're going to see it and thank God for you. They going to thank you for God. They going to thank you for praising God. I mean, y'all get it. Y'all understand what I'm saying. This is how he working in your life. So I want you to get ready. Don't be afraid. Fear not cuz God is with you. Everywhere you go and anything you do, he is with you. He's walking right beside you. So I want you to get ready to pop off and pop out for God. Big period. <laughs> get ready. Listen listen now. Don't, don't go nowhere. We got books, y'all. We got books for days. We got, I got more in the box, okay? And, and my book is available. I'm going to put the link in the description bar below. I'm going to need you go, to go and get my book. Yes, we calling this the bestseller, okay? Because th this is my main book right here. And I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and get that book so you can read it. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's a lot of stuff in this book that's going to help you through your life of going through what you're going through, whatever you got going, your circumstance, the power of God to help you get through it. All of that is in this book. Okay. It's going to help you with what you're going through. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, let everybody know that your girl, what she is, she's still here. Ain't going nowhere. You better know it. I love y'all so much. Give to the channel, Cash Up, Dollar Sign Diva TV, or Super Thanks, which is the heart down below with the dollar sign in the middle. All right, do your thing, baby. Do your thing. Peace and blessings. Mwah.